Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I'm going to show you how to do a zoom and pan effect in PowerPoint and save it out as a video. So let me show you the effect really quickly. This is what the effect would look like in its final form. So you're going to zoom and pan in on this guy's face. You're starting with a zoom out and it zooms in. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into it. So this is just a PowerPoint file in PowerPoint 2013. I'll go ahead and give you the source files with the images and the animations all pre-built so that you can follow along with the lesson. I also have a special bonus for you at the end with some additional images and bonuses. So stick around for that. All right, so I have this set up where it's actually um, three separate files where I have a, two characters and a background as separate files. Um, but it doesn't matter. You can do it with a single image as well. And I'll show you how to do all of that. Um, one thing you need to know is you're going to need an image that is a higher resolution than what is just fitting on the screen. So I've uploaded all three images at a higher resolution um, than the PowerPoint defaults. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a pixelated video um, uh, or a pixelated image. So let's go ahead and look at what we need to do. And I'm going to duplicate this slide, Control D, and let's go ahead and I have both the animation pane and the selection and visibility pane open. But let's go ahead and uh, get rid of both animations and uh, start from scratch. Now I do have uh, the three of these images grouped together and uh, that's fine. We'll just pretend like it's a, sing a single image. Um, what you're going to want to do, um, I do have this as a group. So you'll see if I select the group, uh, if I apply a zoom uh, effect, so let's just go up to animations, uh, add animation and grow and shrink. It gives us a little preview there, but you'll see it kind of zoomed in on his belly. Let's go ahead and look at the effect options. So let me drag that in here. 150% um, is actually what I'd like to do. So that's going to work well, but you can see that you can customize it to whatever you want. Um, and they have some defaults in there as well. I like to make sure the smooth start and smooth end are both gone and let's just click okay. And let's preview what that looks like. Now the problem is, is by default, PowerPoint is going to zoom in on the center of the screen and that's not really the effect that I want to create. I want it to go in on his face. So what we want to do is add a pan effect um, into that as well. And some of this will take a little of uh, playing around with. So let's now add that pan. So we're going to, uh, with selection visibility pane open, make sure I have my group selected. Uh, we are going to add an animation and uh, the pan is just going to be a motion path. So I'm going to select a line by default, it's going to go down. That's not what we want. Um, and so as it's zooming, we actually, if we grab this endpoint, I'm in uh, PowerPoint 2013. If you're in an earlier version, you won't see this preview, but you now we're going to try putting it there. And we want to start with previous. Now let's go ahead and preview what that looks like. And this just takes a little bit of trial and error. Oh, uh, you know, it looked like there was a smooth start and end in there that made the effect look kind of wonky. So let's go ahead and take a look at the effect option. Yeah, I had the smooth start. So let's get rid of both of those and see how that looks. And it's getting better. It looks like we still need to move the image a little bit further down. So let's try grabbing the endpoint and put it to there. And let's try that out. Let's see. That's pretty good. I might still want to go a little bit down so his, his face is framed a little bit better. Let's, uh, let's just move that just a teeny bit more. And now let's go ahead and preview that. I think that looks pretty good. So now one of the hidden features of PowerPoint is you could actually save this out as a video. So if you have an authoring tool or another program that you're trying to move this into um, that doesn't have these animations like PowerPoint does, you can actually save it as a movie file. And let's just go ahead and do that. So let's go to file. Let's go to save as, save it in the same folder. And if I were to choose um, a, few, a few different uh, movie formats. So there's the MP4 and the WMV. Let's go ahead and just do the MP4 and uh, zoom 
PowerPoint. I think I already had a version of this. So let's just go version two, um, save it. And you actually, it's hard to tell if there's anything happening, but uh, if you look down here at the bottom bar, you can see it's creating this video it has a little progress bar um, and it creates it pretty quickly. Um, let me go ahead and uh, open that up. All right, so now I can open this up and if I were to play the video, Let me pull it in for you over here. Okay, so now it's just a video and I can insert that video file in any other program. Okay, so that's about it. Um, I do have uh, some bonuses for you guys uh, with some additional images. So if you just, uh, you can click on the link here and it'll take you to a spot where you can download some extra files. It's also in the, uh, the notes down below. I've also recommended a few additional videos that you can watch that I think are, are relevant to this as well. And as always, if you could do me a huge favor and like this video or subscribe uh, if you're interested in getting more videos, uh, tutorials, mostly on, on PowerPoint um, and characters and images, um, that'd be wonderful. Thanks so much and have a great day.